Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Routing Machine plugin for Leaflet. We'll go over a couple examples on adding a start and finish marker, as well as adding a click event to add the end marker. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is go to this GitHub page and download the code. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you could just come here directly. So what we wanna do is actually download the latest release here. So if I click onto this link, we could get the source code right here. And credit goes out to the author who put this code together. Okay, so if we go to our downloads, we could go ahead and extract that file. And I'm just going to copy that extracted file and I'll paste it into my, my project folder where I have my HTML. So if I go ahead and open this and I'm going to be using Microsoft uh, Visual Studio Code and to show you, it's just a very simple web map. Uh, if I just run that right here using Chrome, it's just an aerial imagery. So what I want to do is connect to that file folder. And let me just come right out here, leaflet. And this is routing. Okay. And there we go. So here's my HTML and here's the extracted folder I just downloaded and extracted. If we come back to the GitHub page, there's a link right here that gives an example of the actual routing machine. And down here it shows you what we need to use to get started. We need to add the CSS file as well as this JavaScript file. So let's go ahead and add that. So let's go up to the top here and we'll add the CSS first. Style sheet. Okay, and that style sheet is right under the dist folder. And let me just open this up a little bit. So it's this one right here, leaflet routing machine.css. Now if I right click onto that file, I'm able to copy the relative path and paste it right between the double quotes here. And to close that off, With that and the next thing we need to do is add this JavaScript and we'll add that right here so if we say script the source equals and again I'm just gonna select onto this file right click copy relative path paste it between the double quotes and close that off. Okay, so we're done with this part up here. So now if we come down into our body, we could add a marker equals L marker. Now this marker is gonna be the start point and we will go ahead and Okay, so this will be the start point. And what I'm gonna do is go back and I'm just gonna add just a start point here in New York, here in the United States, this place called Rockefeller Center. So I'm using Google Earth Map. I'm sorry, Google Map. So if I right click, I'm able just to copy the lat long. See, it says copy to clipboard. And I'll come back and I'll just paste it right here. So this is my starting point. 
So I just have to say add to map. Okay. And going back to the GitHub, what we need to do is add, this is to add the basic routing controls, we need to add this. So let's go ahead and start with the L routing dot control. And we just put it right over here. L dot routing dot control. And the waypoints. Now these are going to be your start and ending points. So that's going to be L dot lat long. So this is the starting and this is the ending L dot lat long. Okay. So again, our starting point is right here. That Rockefeller Center in New York. So if I just paste that there and say if I just paste that again, but I just altered the lat long a little bit. So this is the first example where we just input two standard points. Um, the next example, I'll show you how to move the points. And we'll go from there. And we add that dot add to map. Okay, so let's go and save that. And let's go ahead and run. And as you can see, it already created the the route. So it's given me the distance and the time. And this is the start. And if you click on or hover over each of these directions, you can see this point moving. You see it goes to the Lincoln Tunnel, goes under the Hudson and across, and so forth. So we could also, this is our starting point, we could also change, oops, We could also change the endpoint. So if I just drag and drop, it would automatically change the directions. And so forth. Now, another example we could do is instead of having an endpoint, we can have our starting point, but if I click at a click event, that'll create our endpoint. So let's go ahead and change that. So right under our marker, this is gonna be our click event. Okay, so map on. Click, comma, and then function E. Okay. And then variable end marker equals L marker. Now this will be e dot lat long dot lat e dot lat long dot long and we add to map okay 
Okay, so again we have our start marker, our click event to add that end marker. So down here we're going to replace the old end marker with our this statement here. So when we click, we'll create that end marker. So we'll just paste that right here. And it looks like we need to close that off. Looks like right here we there we go. Okay, so let's go and save this and let's refresh. And we'll go over here. Again, this is our beginning marker here in Rockefeller Center in New York. Now if I click I just created my end marker by by clicking and it rerouted to there. But again, I can always move it around and it will always adjust. So I hope you guys found this helpful and as always leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions on future videos. I greatly appreciate that. As always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.